Hey guys, how you guys doing? Been a while since last time I uploaded. Uh, a little update. I've uh, been taking care of my daughter full time. Being a family man. Fixing stuff around the house. Taking care of kids. But the reason that I'm making this video is because, as I told everyone 14 months ago, when the Kyle Rittenhouse uh, incident happened, that he was innocent. And he'd be, he'd be found innocent because that boy was defending his life. And even with all of the prosecutor's slimy tactics and all of the constitutional rights that he violated and the questionable things that they did to keep testimony out, to keep knowledge to the defense, the 12 jurors decided that that man was innocent. And instead of that 17-year-old being hung for the woke media or for the leftist media or Black Lives Matter or whatever left-wing group you want to put out there that was trying to get political power from hanging this kid out to dry, justice prevailed. He defended himself against four people. And not only did he defend himself, but he showed great skill with that gun and showed that he was not trying to be out there hurting anybody other than the threats that were coming at him. It is sad that Rosenbaum and, and Howard or Hoover or how, whatever you pronounce his name, how they died. But the fact of the matter is, is what you need to realize is when in America where you have freedom, your actions come with consequences. And under the law, he was allowed to defend himself regardless if he had a gun, regardless if it was a riot, regardless if he was 17, none of that stuff matters. Justice won this time. And had he not won, that would have came out to say that you are not allowed to defend yourself. The prosecution ended up saying specifically, he brought a gun to the riot, so he did not have the right to defend himself. For all you people out here that have concealed carry license or concealed carry permits, if you're carrying a gun concealed, you're bringing a gun to every situation. You have it so that you have a gun on you. So if you're at the grocery store and something happens, there's a shooter or the place is getting robbed. According to that prosecutor, you can't defend yourself because you brought your gun to the situation. Today is a great day. It's sad that this man had to go through all this stuff with his family and be in court and in bail and have to defend his life when it was a clear case of self-defense but as always guys stay savage